I sometimes hear students say and when they're approaching studies that is this really going to be like the real world? I think this textbook is the real world. My name is Caroline Zend. I am the co-editor-in-chief of Applied Therapeutics, the Clinical Use of Drugs textbook, 11th edition. When you think about Dr. Coda Kimball and Dr. Young, I mean, they really um, started this case-based textbook. And the concept of doing it uh, was new, it was different. Um, it may have been challenged, but now it's become the standard of uh, how we teach in the health profession. So looking back and where we are today, it is the gold standard textbook for case-based therapeutics. When we were planning for this edition, we really needed to look at the landscape of healthcare delivery system. And it has evolved dramatically and there are more challenges. So we really wanted to make sure that the 11th edition would incorporate um, the changes that are required in the health professions. The pharmacist, is, even in the community pharmacy, is the, the most accessible healthcare professional. So that pharmacists are now involved not only in dispensing medications, but also in dispensing information, in giving vaccines. What's happening is more and more of the pharmacist's time in the, community in the community setting, as well as the hospital setting, is, is involved in direct patient care and hands-on patient uh, care uh, with, with, with the pharmacist. So that's a huge uh, change and, 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 and sort of a tsunami of change uh, in the last 20 years or so, especially in the last five years. And for professors, it's very important to not just lecture students on content, but try to make it so that real world uh, experiences and, and cases are, are brought to bear so that they're able to apply what they learn in pharmacology and therapeutics. We added new chapters that we thought would um, be valuable for current practice. We added in the general principles section drug interactions. Uh, we added pharmacogenomics and personalized medicine, and we added a chapter on interprofessional education and practice. Those three chapters um, are key to patient care in a very broad sense, and so those we're very proud of. And also we added some other chapters in focused areas that we thought were important. The majority of accreditation bodies in health professions education are now requiring that interprofessional education is part of the curriculum, both in the classroom, in the practicum, and in the clinical settings. So I think that this 11th edition is unique among other resources because I feel like we are kind of taking a step forward and making sure that our students are going to be prepared and also sharing that, those resources with instructors. I do think the interprofessional education cases that we have uh, added to the point, those can be used in interprofessional education seminars, those can be used in interprofessional education practicums, and so that is something new. I think those can be used by multiple health professions within an institution. In the best case scenario, the patient sees their providers as a team, and they're all helping every aspect of the team. Uh, the dynamics is important for their individual educational uh, aspect or perspective, but also the team is pulling together and using the, 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 the and, and the patients at the center of that treatment. Our pharmacy students will need to pass uh, a national board examination and the national board examination, the format now has moved towards more case-oriented questions. So in order to prepare our students to do well on the national boards, the NAPLEX, um, having them experience uh, cases to discuss and to uh, unravel uh, and to find a solution is really important for us. In healthcare today, we all have access to technology, but as health professionals, we have to problem solve. We have to think critically and we have to be able to use data to make clinical decisions. So I think to me, that's the essence of this textbook. It's really designed to help students think critically to problem solve, to discuss some of the challenges with patients, with their instructors, with their peers, and to be able to understand how to use data to improve patient outcomes.